Hello lovely humans, Jen Foxbot here. Welcome to another edition of STEM Bites, where we tackle your seemingly simple questions about science, tech, engineering, and math. In today's episode, I'm really excited to bring in a new friend that we haven't yet met, and it is our friend, da, 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 Electric Elephant. Ah! <laughs> so excited! Yeah! <laughs> okay, okay, Electric Elephant. Would you like to share your question with the audience? Heck yeah, I would. I'm really curious, what is voltage? And how is it different than current? <gasps> ah, delightful question. Yay, thank you, friend. Okay, voltage. Let's get the definition out of the way. Voltage is the amount of energy needed to move one unit of charge. Hold on very specific definition one unit of charge okay from one point in a circuit to another i was expecting anyway okay so that is the definition of voltage what does it actually mean because like we can't really see electricity in the same way that we can see our hands and and things around us let's put it in terms that we can better understand so one common analogy for voltage is water pressure so Remember when you were younger and want to spray your friend with the sink or the hose and you can plug the hose with your finger so that the water has a smaller space to escape from. When you do that, you have the same amount of water flowing, but it goes faster now because there's more pressure. Super cool, right? Another way to think about it is like if you drop a penny from a building, So many legs, too many legs. We'll put a nice little railing on the building. Okay, so you have a penny and you drop the penny from the top of the building. Now, if you drop a penny from your regular height, the height of the building is gonna be much, much larger than the height of the person uh, on the ground. We'll say each building for uh, height of the building and each ground for height uh, that you would drop it off at the if you were standing on the ground. Like I am right now, uh -huh. Okay, so that is voltage. You can have the same amount of charge, or like the same penny, but it is going to hit the ground with more force. It's gonna have more pushing force if you drop it from a higher height. In other words, a single charge will have more oomph pushing force if it has, if it's given, uh, if it has a higher voltage, if your circuit has a higher voltage. Um, one of the tricky things about voltage is that it's always measured between two points, um, kind of similar with height. It always has to be in reference to something, and typically that reference is ground. Uh, we're getting into the weeds a little bit here, but um, it, if you have some sort of circuit, um, we'll give our circuit a, an LED, do, 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 and maybe a resistor because you should always put a resistor in with an LED. Um, so you would always measure the voltage between two points. Uh, so across the battery, across the resistor, or across the LED. Whereas electric current is the amount of energy flowing. So in that case, it would be the size of the object that you dropped, or uh, the amount of charge that is flowing through your circuit. Or in my water analogy, the amount of water that's flowing. I hope I'm not confusing you with all these different analogies. Analogies can often make things simpler, but sometimes it gets overly complicated. To recap, voltage, the amount of pushing force, um, the amount of force that you need to move one unit of charge to um, a different point in the circuit, and the amount of voltage that you'll need, for example, to move a charge across a resistor is going to be higher than what you need to move it through a wire. Um, so to give a concrete example, a nine volt battery has more pushing force than a three volt battery. However, a nine volt battery doesn't necessarily have a lot of current, whereas a double A or a triple A battery does. So higher pushing force, but lower amount of current. So super interesting. So it's kind of these, the, this push pull with uh, when you're dealing with circuits and voltage and current. So I hope that that is helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions about voltage or current or anything else related to electricity. 
and electronics. Super fun. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.